Dan Nolan says it's been an unlikely marriage as he looks back on 21 plus years as sports information director at Monmouth College. For a guy that has no athletic abilities, uh, athletics has been really good to me for over 30 years. I, I you know, did sports broadcasting to, before I, I came out here. Nolan is making the move three years earlier than planned and says there's plenty left in the tank. I'm retiring from the college, but I'm not retiring from the workforce. Uh, I, I still still need to work uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, I, I'm not uh, really retirement age quite yet, uh, but I also need something to do. Uh, I've often described sports information as trying to sprint through a marathon, and it's going to be tough going from 100 miles an hour to a pedestrian pace. So uh, I need to find something at least part-time to keep me busy and, and keep my purpose in life. Dan Nolan has, of course, pretty much covered every square inch of anything sporty on the Monmouth College campus. He says he's loved all the storytelling, but it's the people themselves that have brought him the greatest blessings. I, I can't say enough about the local kids we've we've had come through here and and uh, uh, you know we're shooting here from April Zorn Memorial Stadium and I like to call it the house that Tanny built uh, because it, it was built uh, during Alex Tanny's uh, tenure here and, uh, and and then went on to the NFL so uh, we really invested a lot in it and and over half our, our student body is student athletes uh, so they're really uh, involved in campus and uh, we, we've grown from 16 sports when I started to 24 now, uh, and it's, it's just, uh, it's been great. We see uh, uh, kids from all over the country now. Nolan says it's been downright inspiring to watch teams come together year after year for the Fighting Scots cause. He says so much of that comes from wonderful unity from the athletic department to the administration to the athletes themselves. He also says the sports information community itself has been a great help for him. And I've got to really uh, hand it to Dave Rath up at Augustana and then Larry Happel over at Central. They've really been mentors and, and a good sounding board for me and, and uh, I know Dave uh, in particular, I bounced many ideas and, and talked with him many times, and he's uh, really been the guy that's uh, I, I can credit him or blame him for uh, me staying in the business this long. And expect Dan Nolan to provide that kind of insight for his replacement come January. With the FCA Story of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson.